Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm actually up and doing something early in the morning, which is amazing for me. I'm more of a night owl. This is Robin's crochet. Robin's flying crochet. Welcome. I'm trying to I'm looking at my hair and how ridiculous it looks. And yes, I did brush it this morning. It's just wild and crazy. But um I wanted to get on real quick. I don't have a little man awake with me and he's messing in my lap. No one's sitting on the sofa, so I have the morning to myself. Sorry, the pictures are gone. We are actually packing up to move, so I don't have my children's pictures behind me. Um, but, you know, maybe next week when I video tour, if I do it after Saturday, I might have some stuff up on the walls again. Um, but anyway, let me show you what I've been up to. In the last week, I finished this up on Tuesday. I've done a video, I believe. I think I did a video on Wednesday. I got this done. It was amazing. I can't, I can't get the camera back far enough so you can see the whole thing. There's Taco. And my granddaughter's birthday was Wednesday, and I got this done for her for her birthday. Um, it's a bag of day pattern, and I'll link it down below. Um, what else have I done this week? Uh, working Wednesday this week. I got little teeny baby hat, dreamy hats done. Bear ears, so and I had two done. I was working on the third one. I didn't get it done in time for work on Wednesday, but I was 11 minutes over because I do work on Wednesday. This is for his love. Um, 12 12:01 Wednesday morning to 11:59 Wednesday night, and I was 12 minutes short because it's 12:11. So I got three of those done. Finished up a set of snuggles. I had one and had to go back and crochet and match for it. So I don't know why I only had one, but I only had one. Did that. So that's what I've gotten done in the past week. It has not been a very productive week crocheting wise because in between all the crocheting stuff, I try to make sure I'm packing one, two, three boxes a day. I'm never going to be done. We're moving this Friday. A lot of it is we have doctor's appointments. Um, you know, I have an injury in my back that only lets me to stand for so long. So I've got to kind of like juggle stuff. And we have some pretty heavy pieces of equipment that I left over for my daughter that we're getting out of here. Um, so, you know, there's quite a bit of stuff that is going on. Toys. Toys. And more toys. Um, we're taking care of that, get, you know, getting them packed up and moving. Um, you know, there's just a lot that's just going on. It's just not going to happen until moving day. I get the big stuff out of the way so that I can see what I have left. So, work on that. Uh, works in progress. I'm working another baby hat. I'm not sure if you can see that well. I'm going to get that, you know, really so you can see what I'm doing with it. But it's, I'm just coming down here. It's called Amy's. Amy something. I'll post it again down in the link so that I can turn around. You can, if you want to go down and do it, it has in three different sizes. It's a very cute hat. You can put a crochet flower on the side of which I'll probably do. Um, so other than that, I've talked to, of course, I have my cape that I'm still working on. I put everything that I was working on on hold to get this dress done. So I still have my cape. I haven't had any progress on that. Still my temperature uh, blanket. I haven't done any progress on that. Still have uh, dash to do. Haven't gotten any progress on that. Um, and now I have two weeks to get a gift done for my grandson. And I wanted. I looked at him the other day. He came in. You know, they're doing schoolwork over here this week. And I wanted to do. I looked at him and he had a sweater on. And with the hood up on the sweater, it makes the sweater too short. And I'm like, man, has he really grown? I mean, not like an inch. I mean, like about five inches. So I went out on the website, I was looking for a free sweater to make, free pattern for a sweater, and um, I found one, but it's all single crochet, and I can read the pattern, so I feel happy with that. It's just the idea of single crochet, it's a tighter knit, but it also is a longer crocheting project, and I only have two weeks, so then I went back, I went onto a site, and I was looking at a stuffed toy. He's going to be seven. I really don't know what to make for him. Um, I want to have something that he would like to use and like to wear. 
His mama's got him a scarf, so he made him a scarf, so he doesn't need that. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to make for him, but I have to 20 seconds to figure it out. Hopefully I'll be able to figure it out soon. Uh, other than that, um, I don't have anything else going on. Um, I'll probably work on some of this. Today is the day I'm supposed to be working on my cape. I probably will finish this hat and then go get that and work on that some. Um, and then probably look at more patterns and see if I can find something I really want to make for my grandson. Nothing's kind of sparked me right now. So I'm not looking for that. I just want to do a quick um, video to let you know what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, packing, stuff like that. Oh, I am up to 28. I think it's 28 subscribers, 27, 28, and the great thing about that is, that's more people than I'm related to, so they're not all family, yay! So I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping to get to 50 soon. I did have a shout out from Carrie Penny on the Crafty Happy Homemaker um, for doing the yarn bingo, and she, well, she has uh, 3, 000, almost 3,000 followers, I think, and she let me link my YouTube channel on one of her videos for the yarn bingo and I was like I cannot believe that I'm so lucky um, so I'm hoping to get some subscribers from her so I'm still working on that I'd like to get up to 50 maybe by the end of October that would be fantastic I'm hoping to get um, more consistent with putting up videos I think uh, doing the yarn bingo card will help me do my frequently uh, finished objects, work in progresses, uh, future projects. That'll help me keep keep up. I have another one in there that I'm doing. Oh, I haven't done any yarn reviews because I want like a stash buster type deal um, where I'm not trying to purchase any new yarns until 2021. Um, any significant amounts of new yarns in 2021. Anyone, um, we've got a lot of stuff that's coming our way that we have to figure out what we're going to do because we're moving. We're moving into another apartment for ten months, and um, so we want to look for a house soon. So we're kind of tied up in doing that kind of stuff. Um, so we're going to be pretty busy, and we're looking forward to this new adventure in our world and see what we can do. Um, if you want to. Hit the like button if you like the video. Short and quick and simple this week, that's going to be over here. And if you'd like to subscribe, that's going to be over here. And don't forget to hit this also come back over here and subscribe with the bell because that way you see any video I put up. Um, and then we can have fun together. Hopefully next week because I'm not like tied down to one specific thing, although I still have my grandson's birthday present, I'll have a lot more frequently uh, finished objects to show you. Um, and hopefully, I never know, I might be able to finish some things. Um, so we'll just wait and see. All right, after you. Have a good week. See you until next time. Bye.